And in 1977, a woman with this uh, cancer, the head of the practice, came to see me. She had had, she had turned jaundice, they had did the bypass operation. They didn't do a biopsy because they were afraid it would spread the tumor. And they, they finished up and they said to her, you will be dead within six months, get ready for it. So she was a tough lady and she said to herself, to hell with that, I'm not going to die. And she read Norman Cousin's book. Norman Cousin was a friend of mine who wrote this book on indications about laughing and vitamin C. I forget the name of the book. So she began to take vitamin C on her own, and when her doctor, a GP, a very good GP, discovered that she was taking vitamin C, he said, go and see Dr. Hoffer, he knows something about vitamins. So she came here, and she was then taking a small amount of vitamin C, <clears throat> so I told her to take a lot more. I took her up to the Bob Cathcart level, the sublaxative level. She was able to take 40 grams a day without any trouble. Three months later, she phoned me up, and she said, Dr. Hoffer, she said, the tumor's all gone. They had done a CT scan, a CAT scan. They couldn't find the tumor. So they did the CAT scan all over again. They thought that something got wrong with the machine. They couldn't find the tumor. She lived 20 years. So that was my second case. Now, again, that's a very striking case. <coughs> she changed my life. Because she worked in a bookstore, she began to tell everyone who would listen about this amazing recovery she had experienced. And so people began to climb her to come and see me. So this is what's been happening. So since 1977, I've seen around 1,300 patients. Now, I don't treat their cancer. I don't diagnose them. Uh, the treatment is all done by their own doctors, by their own oncologists, but I advise them on the vitamins and nutrition they should follow.